Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. So today is going to be a discussion, a bit of an exploration around how skin and potentially skin problems can affect us as people, sort of on a, a more emotional, personable level. So I haven't been thinking about this for a while, but I haven't known exactly how to articulate it. So this week I sat down, I did have a good proper think and research exactly what I wanted to say today. So if you're new to my channel, then uh, welcome. My name is Uli and I make videos about skin, hair and health from a more holistic, functional way. So if you're interested in any of those things, then definitely do hit the subscribe button before we get going. Hit the like button, it really helps my channel. Uh, and yeah, so let me take you back a good few years now and tell you a little bit about me and what I was like as a child. So as a child, I was obsessed with drawing. Like, I mean obsessed. I would spend hours upon hours just drawing all kinds of things like animals, houses, loads and loads of people, places, characters. And I'd basically just conjure up all these images and and stories in my head that would just pour out onto pieces of paper. I was so wrapped up in my own little world. Just give me a pen and a piece of paper and I was happy for hours. So this is something that stands out quite vividly in my memory of myself. But another thing that I remember is that I was quite shy. Like I wasn't, you know, center of attention kind of kid. And I was also easily upset by things. And another thing, of course, I do remember quite vividly, especially between the ages of like, two or even before I even can remember anything and about six or seven, I had a lot of skin problems and I was very, very self-conscious about this. So at the time, obviously with the blissful lack of self-awareness that we have as children, I really didn't analyze myself or my personality and especially not in the context of my environment or the people around me or my circumstances. It was just, you know, as a kid, you just kind of live your life. But as you get older, and I think a lot of people do tend to start thinking about who they are as people and all the different forces that have happened in our lives to essentially shape the people that we are today. So I started this channel because I wanted to help people who had, similar to me, chronic skin problems. For me specifically, that was of course eczema. So on this journey, I have learned a lot about the anatomy of the skin, the physiology of the skin, and what kind of drives either a healthy or a diseased state from a more biological perspective. So looking at things like our diet, our lifestyle, the things that we put on our skin. And one thing I keep coming across over and over again, but I find it very hard to sort of wrap my head around on kind of more scientific level, is the connection between our emotional health and our skin health. So today I wanted to explore this a little bit deeper and look at the connection between how having a long-term skin problem affects us not just on a physical level, but also on an emotional level and what the kind of long-term consequences of this might be on the people who have these skin problems. So to begin with, I was wondering if anyone out there has heard of something called a highly sensitive personality or an HSP for short. So if you haven't, this is a type of personality which apparently 15 to 20% of the population has, which makes you a very sensitive person. Person. So what do we mean by a sensitive person? So first of all, there's the kind of the physical sensitivity that you have, which means that you are very sensitive to kind of sights and sounds and smells and touch. Not only this, but often this can evoke emotional responses in people who have these kind of very high sensitivities to the world around them. And so not just on a physical level that they are very sensitive, but also on an emotional level. So I did a quick Google of some of the, the kind of classic traits that somebody who is an HSP has. So the list that comes up are things like they are very easily startled by loud noises. They have a very low pain tolerance. They absolutely abhor any kind of violence, just, you know, watching it in films or reading it in the newspaper, anything like that. They're easily moved by art and music and other forms of aesthetic beauty on kind of an emotional level. They are very, very deeply affected by conflict. And often as children, they have vivid imaginations and kind of found in their own little world. But the list does go on. I, I just picked out a handful there. But the, the point is that people who have this sort of heightened sensitivity to the world around them, it creates a very unique world experience for them and often a certain personality type because of that. So the key thing for people who are highly sensitive is that because they have this heightened sensitivity to the world around them, the lines between the physical perception and the emotional responses are often quite blurred and they are often very, very highly connected. So as well as the kind of more obvious sense 
senses, so sight, sound, smells. They also are often very good at picking up emotional cues and the kind of subtle emotional reactions that people have around them that perhaps non-sensitive types wouldn't pick up on as easily. So a quick flicker of like an eyebrow or something, to somebody who's not very sensitive might not mean all that much or they might see it and not think much of it but somebody who's highly sensitive might see that and notice it and really kind of take that in and think oh this person is obviously feeling uncomfortable or suspicious of me or there's something not quite right here and similarly if they ever get into like an argument or a disagreement or anything like that it does stay with them a lot longer if you are more sensitive and they might tend to become you know a bit more ruminating about certain situations and yeah just generally things will just affect them on kind of an emotional level a bit more than it perhaps would other people and because of this often what happens is people who are very sensitive have a higher level of empathy and compassion for people and they often have quite a strong compulsion to help other people. So where am I going with this? Before we were talking about personality and skin, now we're talking about HSPs, like where am I going with all of this? So when I was going through this list of the different character traits, and I'm actually gonna put the full list up here so you guys can have a read through and see if you resonate with any of these. But when I was going through the list, I can definitely tick yes to about 80 to 90% of these. I have a terrible pain tolerance. I'm really, really ticklish. I am sensitive to smells. Um, I also hate conflict of any kind. And often if I get into an argument of any kind, it kind of stays with me for a long time. Absolutely hate watching violence in films. And yeah, it's just really not something that I'm, I'm good with at all. But having said all this, I mean, there's definitely facets of my personality that I think are very contrasting to a lot of these traits. So yes, I might hate like seeing and watching violence on films, but I do love a good true crime series on Netflix. So perhaps I'm not a through and through HSP, but I would definitely say that I am somebody who possesses a lot of the qualities of a highly sensitive person. So what I am most interested to know is that, is there a link between an HSP or highly sensitive personality types and skin and your skin problems? So let's take stress. Stress is probably one of the biggest triggers for people and is one of the best examples that we have of how our skin responds not only to our physical health but also our emotional state. So could it then be that people who are more emotionally sensitive and whose emotional states are more easily upset or more easily disturbed, are these people then more prone to having different physical conditions and ailments that are affected by your emotional state, so for example skin problems? Or is it the other way around? People who have chronic skin problems just become more sensitive as people because of their physical condition and the impact that it has on their emotions. So I looked a little bit deeper into this and it turns out that people who consider themselves as highly sensitive people, they are actually more likely to suffer from things like eczema, allergies, asthma, and other kind of chronic ailments than non-sensitive personality types. And the more I thought about this, this makes total sense to me because I think that we can agree that since there is such a deep link between our emotional disposition and our physical health, it makes sense that people who are more emotionally sensitive and therefore more susceptible to kind of being thrown off kilter on an emotional level are then more likely to suffer from physical conditions that come as a consequence of this. And of course, following this logic, it means that we really shouldn't be treating these two things in isolation. Our emotional health and our physical health they come hand in hand and if we want to fully heal from kind of a holistic and a functional way we should be addressing both with equal importance so to finish off this discussion i really want to hear from you guys would you guys consider yourselves as highly sensitive people do you feel like you are through and through hsp do you feel like you are somebody who has certain elements of an hsp personality type maybe the, the kind of the physical sensitivity or the emotional sensitivity. And do you think that this is because of your skin condition or do you think that your skin condition is a result of your personality? So for me personally, I definitely would say that in some ways I am a highly sensitive person and other ways, maybe not so much. Do I think that because I have certain personality traits that I was more prone to getting eczema or do I think that because I had eczema at such a young age and for such a long time, that that then created these more sensitive personality traits in me that I wouldn't have had otherwise? 
We don't really know. I think it's a bit of a chicken egg debate, but what I definitely do think is that having a skin problem, a long-term skin problem, or any kind of long-term illness for that matter, definitely does create a deeper level of compassion, resilience, and kindness to other people that I am very grateful for. So I hope that was a, a nice positive end to this video. And so if you do like this video, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I'll be making videos for you every single week. And in the meantime, I'll see you again very soon for another video. Bye.